Take to the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Done, we know our game. What the fuck you just call me? Well, ho, ho, ho! And no, I'm not talking about Willem. I'm here to introduce you guys to Honey's Holiday Spectacular. And I really hope that comes off as fabulous as it does in my head. So as a lot of you know, I'm mostly a Halloween girl. So yeah, I've been kind of guilty of putting Christmas on the back burner every now and then. In fact, it's been two whole years since my last Christmas special. That was back in 2012 when we had Honey Boo Boo on the show. You know what? I actually got you a present. Really? I got you one too. My god, how times have changed. But yeah, I have to admit that Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Just for starters, as a huge film snob, as you guys know that I am, there's all kind of movies to gag over during this time of the year. For starters, my favorite, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, followed by A Christmas Story, classic, and finally, Home Alone. Honorable mention, how could I leave out, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Jim Carrey for the motherfucking president of the universe. That man could make anything funny. He could make Gia Gunn's Kim Kardashian funny. Maybe. And of course, I can't leave out all the wonderful Christmas music, which is pretty cute for the first couple of days, and then it's just like, shut the fuck up! Look, bitch, I know Santa Claus is coming to town. I don't need to hear it every two goddamn minutes, okay? And one of my favorite things about the holiday season, all of the amazing TV specials, right? The Macy's Parade, Charlie Brown, um, there was even a Christmas episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, scratch that last one. And personally, just one of my favorite things about wintertime in general is how beautiful it is. Even though in Tennessee, the weather isn't exactly the tea. So let me tell you how snow works in West Tennessee, okay? We spend all December and January waiting for it. Never fucking comes. And then we get desperate, over-eager, over-excited. So every time the fucking sky turns gray, school system wants to call the schools off. So by the time it actually does come, say about mid-March, they've already used up all their days and they gotta go to school anyway. And by that time, I'm over it. I'm ready for spring break. No, I don't want to build a snowman. I want to sit margaritas and watch shirtless guys on the beach. So it always seems like as Christmas gets closer, the days get shorter, the time goes faster, and it's like, I'm not even done digesting Thanksgiving turkey by the time I'm sitting opening presents on Christmas morning. So a nice thing to do during the holidays is just find extra ways to save time. And one of the biggest ways you can save time during the holidays is learning how to wrap presents very quickly and very efficiently. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that today. This is an amazing wrapping hack that will change your life. So say you go out and you buy somebody for Christmas a little loofah. I know some people who would do very well to learn what the fuck this is, by the way. But I digress. So it's as easy as this. Step one, get your present. Step two, voila! Now without a doubt, the holidays are the most important time for making memories. I know that I personally have made so many great Christmas memories through the years. Like the time I woke up in the middle of the night for a piss and caught my fat ass parents munching on Santa's milk and cookies, and the magic of Christmas was shattered for me forever. And the five years after that, I pretended to still believe in Santa so I could get an extra present on Christmas Day. That is how you do it. Now, in my opinion, the love and support that you guys show me throughout the year is enough of a gift. So I was very shocked and surprised when I found this little present waiting for me under the tree today. You guys are just too sweet. You really shouldn't have. Oh, okay. You know me well. Okay. Now people always ask me, honey, what is the true meaning of Christmas? It's getting fucking presents, duh. Okay, no guys, cut that out please. Thank you. And I personally never know exactly what to answer. So, that's why today I have called in an expert on the subject to tell us what the true meaning of Christmas really is. Please welcome Rudolph the Red-Nosed Motherfucking Reindeer. So what about it, Rudy? Can you tell us the true meaning of Christmas? Hello? 
It's not always all about you, okay? Well, what about you? Yeah, I didn't fucking think so. Okay, but in all seriousness, personally, to me, the true meaning of Christmas is that all year we are so fucking selfish, so concerned about ourselves, and so unworthy of the love that we receive. Christmas is the one true time where we can really pay back that love in a very extravagant and magical way. And some people do it with Christmas lights, or gingerbread houses, or gift cards, and some people do it with an, oh my god, how nice to see you, you know, your Christmas presents got lost in the mail. No, I didn't forget about you, not at all. But the point really is, it's the thought that counts. So, thank you all so much for joining me. Be sure to submit questions below, or at ask.fm. For my next Q&A video, which I'll be taking on at the beginning of next year. And until then, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, or excuse me, a politically correct holiday season. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!